Hello, welcome to the same English news service from Khurshid Global TV channel. U.S. Defense Secretary James Mattis said on Saturday that the killing of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi undermined Middle Eastern stability and that Washington would take additional measures against those responsible. Washington Post columnist Khashoggi murder has escalated into a crisis for the world's top oil exporter. Saudi Arabia's allies have reacted with outrage toward a country that is the linchpin of a U.S.-backed regional bloc against growing Iranian influence in the Middle East. But Mattis also said U.S. respect for the Saudi people was undiminished, while Saudi Foreign Minister Adil al-Jubair said those behind the killing would be prosecuted in the kingdom and that the investigation would take time. Palestinian militants said on Saturday they would halt attacks into Israel from the Gaza Strip after they fired the heaviest rocket slavers across the border since August. The Palestinian Islamic Jihad, one of the armed groups that operates in Gaza, said it fired the rockets in the retaliation for Israel's killing of four Palestinian protesters on Friday. Israel, in the response, struck dozens of targets in the Gaza Strip on Saturday. A spokesman for the Melton said an Egyptian mediated trust had been reached. Egyptian security officials have been taking Egyptian security officials have been talking separately to Israeli and Palestinian leaders in an attempt to restore calm along the border. Russian President Vladimir Putin spoke to Turkey's President Tayyip Erdogan in Istanbul on Saturday ahead of wider Syria talks to be attended by Germany's Angela Merkel and France's President Emmanuel Macron, the Kremlin said on a statement. Russian President Vladimir Putin also. Meanwhile, Russian President Vladimir Putin and France's President Emmanuel Macron spoke by phone ahead of a four-way summit in Istanbul on Saturday. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov was quoted as saying by Interfox news agency. Putin and Macron are due to meet Germany's Angela Merkel and Turkey's Tayyip Erdogan to discuss developments in Syria's rebel-held Elite province and the political process for resolution of the conflict. Travelers and commuters in Italy faced delay on Friday as several nations' trade union staged a 24-hour strike, disrupting transport services as well as some public schools. Rome and Italy's financial capital Milan were hardest hit with Rome and Italy's financial capital Milan were hardest hit with buses, traumas, and underground services set to operate a full service only during the morning and evening rush hour. In Rome, many rubbish collection workers also walk off the job. Unions called the strike to demand better working conditions, more hirings, and increased public sector investment. One union said it was protesting about 2019 budget, accusing the government of not doing enough for ordinary workers. That was all from English News Service of Hushit Global TV channel. Thank you for watching us. Wish you a good night. Bye.